Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. We are at the timber extension, taking advantage of the sun. We've been waiting for this. Um, so the forecast today is to rain at two o'clock. So it's nice and sunny this morning. So we are here to try and see if we can fiberglass this roof real quickly in preparation for the rain and seal this roof up. So we did cover it with plastic, that's worked quite well. We had a few little drops of water here and there. We've taken the plastics off to let it dry out. So it should be good to go. There you go, guys. So this is the roof that we did the last time we were here. We put the roof window in, we screwed it down. We've got our fiberglass trims, taken all our plastic off. Everything is nice and dry, as you can see. No water got through, um, even on the on the glass, no window. So we covered it quite well. There's one or two little bits that got a little bit wet here. But the sun's gonna dry that out in the next, say, 20 minutes. We are going to start putting in our fascia boards. I mentioned the last time I picked up the wrong fascia boards. I picked up gray ones instead of black by accident off the shelf. So as you can see here, Namdi's packing that on the van. We're gonna quickly go and exchange that for black fascia boards. And that gives us some time for this roof to dry out. Then we come back, we'll fit the fascia boards first. Then we'll put all our drip trims. We've got up stands to put around the back here as well. Someone was asking about showing how we do that. I'll show you guys that today. We'll put the up stands and then we'll fabulous the roof. And then after that, we can come back and do the flashing. Um, but it should be good for now anyway, with the up stands. Yeah, so that's what we've got to do. We also got to trim a little piece off this edge of this wood with the circular. We've got a little, little bit to cut off there. Once we cut that, we can start getting our fascia boards in. And then yeah, we're good to go. So we are gonna crack on. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so we're back and we've been busy. We've been putting in fascia boards. You guys have probably seen the side here. We've done that side, we've done the front here as well. Um, we've also done this side here as well. We just put that on. So what we're gonna do now is we're getting ready to put the drip trim on the front of the front the fiberglass drip trim so we need to build up the drip trim by using some batten like this this stuff here roofing batten so we're gonna use um nail that just above the if you just see just above the uh fascia boards in that piece of timber there we're gonna nail these up there flush to the top of the roof we're gonna nail two layers of this so we're gonna double batten it and that will push the uh, drip trim out just enough so we can get the overhang for the gutter. So I'm just gonna do that bit now.
Marie Dart. I'm not going to do Okay guys, so we've done all our exterior detail trimming. We've done down the sides here, as you can see, down there. We've done the upstands around the bay window and here. All the way around to our front foot trim.
All right, guys, so we got to call it quits. The rain has come. Obviously, we can't fiberglass in the rain, so we had to stop. We had just stopped and we thought we could pop around the cafe for lunch. Should be all right. While we were at the cafe, we saw the drizzle started coming, so we ran up, ran back up. So we had to cover the roof. Um, but the sections that we did do are dry. Unfortunately, I didn't get to record that because the battery died and I didn't realize. So we didn't actually get to record us fiberglassing it. I was hoping we would record the second half, but it started raining. So I'm gonna have to record that on another day. Anyway, I'll show you guys what we did. So this is what it's looking like now. As you can see, the rain has fallen. The rain has started. We had to stop. We had to cover it. We managed to get, we got one full strip, two full strips and we are up to about here on the window so we got up to about here either side of the window so we literally got two more two more rows not even two more about one and a bit um strips to do and then we would have got it finished but well, unfortunately we couldn't um so this is what it's looking like now anyway this side is dry it's really hot today so it's drying quite quick anyway so this was well dry before we got this. and this yeah it's looking good so all this section here is basically dry so at least the parts that we have covered now from here it's less likely water's going to get in there now um, because i said it's fiberglass up to about here yeah so we just tuck that in into the back of that for now it should be all right so we're going to be checking out the forecast i'm hoping tomorrow the morning the weather will be all right if it is we'll be here first thing we'll finish fiberglass in that and then we'll probably give it a quick sand and paint it i like to do it on the same day if we can but we don't have to sand it but unfortunately we're gonna have to do that and then um we give it its top coat and then once it's all dry we come back and put the flash in and that's pretty much it job done okay guys so we are actually gonna quickly pop off um to the garden house seven by four garden the garden house um because it's only um 230 now so we're gonna quickly pop there and put the skirting boards in because um, Anambi is going to be painting that on Saturday so I want to get it all prepped for him so we're going to go and pop that in now and then he will be able to paint that on the weekend so guys hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and we we'll see you guys in the next one take care